say sorry to the manager, to the coaching staff, to the team, and stay at May United, but the second option is the most concrete right now. Say the expectation also of those at Manchester United is for Jadon Sancho to leave in January. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on five players who could be on the move in the January transfer window. Many things are happening around many players. Clubs starting to look the opportunities for the first transfer window of 2024. And so let's jump into it together. <music> There is still a long way to go before the January transfer window will start and also the transfer movements, the concrete transfer movements will start for January, but some players could be on the move in the next months and so let's keep an eye on them. Some of them have almost the guarantee to leave in January, others uh, could be on the move. So I will explain to you these five situations and I wanted to start with obviously one of the big ones. We know the situation of Jadon Sancho because week by week by week with John Sancho still not apologizing to Eric Ten Hag and the coaching staff, two ways. Say sorry to the manager, to the coaching staff, to the team, and stay at May United, but the second option is the most concrete right now. Say the expectation also of those at Manchester United is for Jadon Sancho to leave in January. This seems to be the most concrete option as of today because there is still no clarity and the idea at the moment of May United is to part way with Sancho in January in case they can find the right opportunity. So the discussions will continue. We will see about the clubs interested in Sancho, really interested in Sancho. We'll keep you posted about that. But for sure, the intention looks clear with Jadon Sancho, one of the names to keep an eye on for the January transfer window for sure. A really interesting one after Manchester United pushing and pushing uh, to sign him uh, as soon uh, as possible a uh, couple of years ago. It was 2020, then 2021, and then now in this complicated situation, Sancho and May United. The situation is different between Trevo, Shaloba and Chelsea. I told you multiple times that there is a concrete opportunity for him to leave in January. Now I can confirm that from my information, Shaloba will leave in January. It's the intention of the club. They were already prepared to let him go to Nottingham Forest in the final hours of the uh, summer transfer window, but the deal collapsed because Shaloba rejected. Now the interest from Bayern, they were also interested in the final weeks of the transfer window, remains. But there are also other clubs. In any case, Shaloba is prepared to go because he loves Chelsea. He would love to stay at Chelsea, but he wants to play. For him, it's crucial to play. He doesn't have this opportunity at Chelsea. And this is why a January X it is very likely and 90% guaranteed for Trevo Shaloba expected to leave the club in the January transfer window. Keep an eye also on Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, the Danish fielder of Tottenham, because as I told you, it was an important story a couple of weeks ago. He changed agents uh, after the summer transfer window. He was in the list at Manchester United as defensive midfielder, but the priority option was always Sofian Amrabat, so he was just on the list. He was also one of the names considered at many other clubs, including Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, in the final days of the transfer window, tried in every way to convince Tottenham on Hoiberg deal, but no agreement. And now Hoiberg remains open to January move. He's keen on potential potential transfer. Let's see if it's going to be January or summer transfer window, because in January we know that some players will go to the Africa Cup, uh, Tottenham midfielders, and this is why it could be complicated to give the green light to the exit of Hoiberg, but the player is open, January or summer, to leave Tottenham and try new experience. It's true that Juventus are keeping tabs on the situation, but there are also other clubs, and so Hoiberg is one to watch, and the player intention with new agents is to change in 2024. Let's see if it's going to happen in January. Also, a situation to follow is the situation of Calvin Phillips at Manchester City. Phillips was very clear in the last 24 hours. He needs to play. He wants to play. He knows it's crucial to play. Uh, if he wants to go to the Euros and be an important player for England, he has to play on a regular basis. And this is why Calvin Phillips is going to push for that opportunity. Let's see what's going to happen. But Calvin Phillips wants to play Otherwise, to consider a January exit from Manchester City. He had some possibilities in the summer, but it was a no from the player because he wanted to prove himself at Man City. Now, after spending two, almost three months not playing at City, for him could be time to consider his future. And so, Kipenau Phillips could be on his way out of Manchester City in January. And then, guys... 
Keep an eye on a big, very big name, Ivan Toni. I told you multiple times after he changed agents, he's now with Stellar Group, that many clubs are keeping an eye on his situation, including Arsenal and Chelsea. Both clubs are informed, both clubs know very well the situation of Toni, and they know that Toni is open to make a top club move already in January. For January move, depends on how much these clubs want to spend, because for less than 60 million pounds, it's going to be very difficult to sign Toni. So it has to be at least 60, 65 million pounds. For Ivan Toni, let's see if it's going to be Chelsea to attack the situation, let's see if Arsenal will decide to go for that, or other clubs, because we also know the situation, for example, at Tottenham, but they are very happy with their current squad, but in any case, Tony could be one to watch in the January transfer window, and the player is absolutely ready to leave Brentford, let's see, and let's respect Brentford in this story, if someone will put the money Brentford want, otherwise it could be a summer move. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these players. Who is the most attractive for your team? Let me know here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.